my name is Aaliyah, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So today we are going to be doing another bookstore vlog and we're going to be going to two different used bookstores and I'm going to take you along with me and then after we go book shopping we're going to be doing a little book haul at the end. So without any further ado, let's go book shopping.
Dear, you're beautiful. <laughs> you look like such a dad today. <laughs> Can you give me a good smile? Ew, what is that? <laughs> So it's time for a little book haul. So I did do some damage at the used bookstores. Who is surprised? Certainly not me. Um, so the first book that I found is from a used bookstore in Sandpoint, Idaho. Um, and it's called Far From the Light of Heaven by Today Thompson. So this is a adult sci-fi novel and it's set on a ship in space. Um, and I think it's about like space travel and a crew. Um, and I think something goes wrong on the spaceship and things kind of go from there. But I liked the writing style. I kind of read the first chapter and I thought it was interesting. I haven't really heard a lot of people talk about this, but I have heard uh, good things about this author before. So I thought I would give it a go. And then I also found a couple other sci-fi books. So I found two books in the Murderbot Diaries series by Martha Wells. So this is a series that I am like part of the way through right now. So the first book that I found was Exit Strategy. And I've read this one before, but I really want to reread it because it's been a while. And I'd like to reread this one and then read the rest of the series because I think book seven just came out like a few weeks ago. So this is book four or five in the series and we're following the same main character Murderbot as he goes on another adventure. This one is about the corporation Grey Chris that Murderbot has been like investigating and Murderbot is starting to realize that this Grey Chris company is probably going after his friend Dr. Mensa and so he kind of goes on this mission to try and like find her and like save her from this evil corporation that's like doing bad stuff throughout the galaxy. So that's that one. And then I also found uh, book six in the series, which is Fugitive Telemetry. And I was really excited to find both of these novellas because I don't own any of the books in this series until now because these novellas are really expensive in the hardcover. And so I've never splurged on them. I've always gotten them from the library. So I think it's really cool that I found them at a used bookstore. But I'm not really sure what Fugitive Telemetry is about because I haven't read this one before. Let's see, it says when Murderbot discovers a dead body on Preservation Station, it knows it is going to have to assist station security to determine who the body is, was, how they were killed. That should be relatively straightforward at least. And why? Because apparently that matters to a lot of people. Who knew? Yes, the unthinkable is about to happen. Murderbot must voluntarily speak to humans. Again. <laughs> um, I really like this series because Murderbot is a really interesting character. Um, Murderbot is basically this kind of like a robot that has become like sentient and he hacked his own governor module so he's basically like a rogue free agent and all he wants to do is like watch his little tv shows and he doesn't like people very much but somehow he always ends up on these adventures like fighting for the good humans and like killing the bad humans and uncovering all of these like weird evil plots that are happening across the galaxy on different planets and stuff and it's really funny. The main character Murderbot is really hilarious and so I'm really excited to continue on with that series. And then I also found another sequel and it's called The Last Life of Prince Alistair by Alexandra Bracken. So this is the sequel to um, her previous novel Prosper Redding which I really enjoyed and I've been wanting to read the sequel for a long time but it's one of those books that I just like hadn't gotten around to purchasing it and so I was super excited to find this. So this is a middle grade story about this kid named Prosper who is not possessed by a demon but he has a demon living inside of him and um the demon thing happened because one of his ancestors like made a deal with the demon kingdom like a long time ago 
and so now Prosper has this demon inside of him it's like part of a family curse thing and so his family is like trying to kill him to get rid of the demon and so Prosper has to kind of like go on his own adventure to figure out what's happening and the demon like talks to him in his head and it's really funny but I really like these books because they're really atmospheric and they're set in the fall and they're really autumnal and cute and I really like them a lot and book one had this really cute witch girl in it that Prosper was friends with and the little witchy autumnal vibes were just so cute and I really liked it so I'm excited to get into this um I think in this one Prosper actually has to go like to the demon realm to save his friend and so I'm interested to see what happens with that there's also this little cat in here um that has like little bat wings and can like fly around and it's just super cute so I'm excited to get to that and then I also found two other books at my local used bookstore so I found a historical romance and it's called Dangerous by Amanda Quick. So I've been hearing really good things about Amanda Quick recently but I've never read one of her books before and I was just intrigued by this one. The back says from a magnificent ballroom ablaze with lights to an imposing country house steeped in shadows comes a breathtaking tale of an impetus miss and a passion that leads to peril. At five and twenty, Prudence Merriweather knew very well the risks a woman took by visiting a gentleman in the middle of the night, but bearding the notorious Earl of Angelstone in his den was the only way to stop him from engaging her hot-headed brother in a duel, and that was why she found herself ushered into Sebastian's forbidding presence at three in the morning and thoroughly kissed before dawn. <laughs> she was a country-bred innocent and an intriguing experience for a man who dwelt more in the shadows than in the sunshine, yet her boldness drew Prue into one dangerous episode after another. Sebastian found himself torn between a raging hunger to possess her and a driving need to protect her, and the reckless beauty would soon need all the protection she could get. So I just thought that sounded really cute, and it has this little picture of the two of them on the spine. So I don't know, I read the first chapter at the bookstore, and I thought it was really fun. Um, I just thought it was funny that this girl Prudence is like, just busting into this guy's house in the middle of the night to try and convince him not to like, fight her brother. <laughs> it was just funny, and it seems like a fun fresh time. So we're gonna see what I think of that. And then I also found this book that's a memoir and it's called Salido. So this is one that was recommended to me um, by one of you guys in the comments on one of my videos a long time ago. And it's a memoir about this guy who uh, came to the US through Mexico and like crossed the border. And uh, he did it when he was a child. And so it's kind of about his journey like getting into the US and all the things that he had to do with and it sounds really interesting. It's a really long book too so I'm interested to see what happens in here but I've heard really fantastic things about this memoir. So actually now that I'm looking at this it sounds like he was originally from El Salvador and he came through Guatemala, through Mexico and across the US border and he his parents like hired a coyote to like lead them through Mexico to safety when he was like nine and he was like separated from his family for a long time and had to like trick through the desert and uh deal with all this crazy stuff and it just sounds really interesting so I'm excited to get to this and I'm really glad that somebody recommended this to me and that I found a copy at a bookstore so that is my little book haul I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see some more bookish videos from me. And let me know what other videos you'd be interested in seeing. I've done some reading vlogs lately and I've been doing these bookstore vlogs more because you guys seem to like them. But if there's any specific like book recommendations videos you want to see or anything like that, let me know in the comments. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!